We look at the Indian approach, you know, and it's it's a very old school style of approach where they they set the foundation, then they bat normally, and then they, you know, really uh, go for it in the last 15 overs, almost from the 30th over. They try and get to 140, 150 after 30 wickets in hand, and then they play a T20 game for the last 20 overs to get, you know, the 180s, 190s. You know, it's a method that's worked so far. I think they're that good a cricket team they can push the boundaries, and I don't think it'd take too much for them to go a little bit harder in those first 25 30 overs to get them to something like 180 with 20 to go and then you've got a little bit of leeway of if your firecrackers don't quite come off to still get 325 330 by not having a great day i think this indian side should try and push the boundaries to try and get the 380 400s on wickets like we're seeing they're flat they're not doing a great deal I don't think it would take too much more risk for them to really push for that kind of total. And if they get that into their mindset over the next two years, you know, bearing in mind the next World Cup is in, in India on these kind of wickets, I don't think there's a team that can touch them. You know, with their bowling unit, with all the different combinations, I honestly think India, with the talent and the strength that they have, could blow the rest of the world away in the next two years by training the brain to get to that 300, 400, by not taking that much more of a risk. All it is is probably a boundary or two every other over in the first 20, 25 overs. You know, Virat, Rohit Sharma, uh, Shikha Dawan at the top. I, I don't think it's asking too much of them to do that. I don't think they'd have to risk too much more. Uh, yeah, I I'd be telling the inner side, train the brains, train your mechanism to get three at 80, 400s. Interesting point, because when I mentioned at the top of the show, we're obviously going through not just social media, but various people's comments. I was filtering out the comments, not just from those who are like, board of 50 over cricket but the intelligent voices like Michael Vaughan who are actually saying look you know you're going to get this, these big scores in the last 20 how about a few more in the first 30 from quality players not going berserk not throwing their wickets just to set a bigger platform for a score that will be more testing for a team like England and we saw had they not imploded last time around they would have got that in a canter Joy. yeah you know I was just looking at this score I mean I was looking at what uh, say for example Virat Kohli did and his strike rate was 84. Okay, he got 66 in 79 balls. Normal, very nice innings from a normal 2013, 2014 ODI point of view. It's not a bad innings at all. But here's the thing: did he at any point look as if he was struggling to hit the ball? No. He was totally in command. He was totally in control. Other than the one chance he gave, he he, he knew exactly what he was doing. Could he have pushed the strike rate up to 100? Almost surely. So I think Michael's right there because. You know, if the batsman is struggling to hit the ball, can't hit the ball, is not timing, the bowling is very accurate, you know, you can understand it. But they clearly, in that there was a period where they clearly seemed to be coasting. You know, when Kohli was batting, Kohli and Rahul were batting, they clearly seemed to be, okay, we're going to put on, you know, we're going to kick in now. And I think what Michael's saying is, if you can kick in now, why aren't you kicking in earlier? 